My God is right. <laughs> My God. Oh, Lord. Wow. Um, it is so important that we discern the times and seasons that we're in. And as we transition into this segment right here over the next 10, 15 minutes, it was eight years ago, and the number eight was just mentioned as the number of new beginnings. It was eight years ago in January. I was in, I was in Texas, and the Lord gave me a very strong vision, and I believe it applies to our moment right now. And what I saw was the heart. I saw the body. I saw a body laying across the United States. We are in a season right now where national awakening, I believe, is right in the balance. National awakening is upon us, church. I want, I want us to really understand this. And I saw the heart in Texas. And as the heart started to beat in Texas, I saw this this army, this body laying across like Ezekiel's vision of the valley of dry bones coming together. And then this army arose. And I saw the head on the west coast and the feet on the east coast. And what I heard this morning was boots on the ground. This is a house of, of, of war. I'm telling you, there's a lot of intercessors in this house right now. And, I, and from, from the beginning of Jennifer ministering, I, I mean, demons are just running. I just see demons running. Demons are running. I mean, the, just the anointing of deliverance from the beginning throughout this whole thing. I mean, look, the intercessor's got to be free. The intercessor's got to be free, full of Jesus, full of the Holy Ghost, full of the glory, and really moving in that kingdom authority. But I, I, I just see the enemy on the run this morning. But I saw the heart beating in Texas, the head on the west, the feet on, on the east coast. And then the Lord spoke to me that it was in his heart to overturn Roe v. Wade. And, and it would be the heartbeat, and there would be something connected to Texas with the heartbeat that would trigger the overturning of Roe v. Wade that would then also parallel with a national awakening. So recently the heartbeat bill in Texas happened where they declared it illegal to, to perform an abortion up to a certain time period of the heartbeat. And uh, now we know this whole thing is going before the Supreme Court, and I feel here we are praying about the government, and, and we're about to do something prophetic in just a moment. But um, I really believe we need to be praying, intercessors, for the Supreme Court that God's hand would move upon the hearts of all the Supreme Court justices to see an overturning of Roe v. Wade. I believe it is in the heart of the Father to turn this table over, to go in and turn this thing over and, and to really see life restored. And I believe it, it is also connected to a national awakening that God wants to release in our country. So let, can we declare it right now? Can we just declare it in the spirit realm from this, from this prophetic place? Lord, we declare, Father, the, the heartbeat. Father, we declare the overturning of Roe v. Wade in this hour. Father, we declare life being released in the name of Jesus. And we declare dry bones living. We declare awakening. We declare the army arising in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you are even releasing a great army right here on the East Coast. In the name of Jesus. God is girding our feet today. I feel it. As part of his army, his body, he's putting, he's putting army boots on your feet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Whoa. Whoa. There's an anointing. There's a glory. God is anointing your feet. He's putting a, an anointing on your feet to really stand. God is saying, I am, giving, I am giving my people an anointing in their feet to stand. And after they have done all, they will stand. There's a standing anointing where ground will not be given up. But it will be the opposite. Ground will be taken. Territory will be taken. I hear the Lord saying that he's about to take back land that the enemy tried to steal. But God says it's not his. It belongs to the Lord. The earth is the Lord. 
This really is going to be a season of overtaking overtaking recovering all i feel it so strong in my spirit right now it's a season of overtaking and recovering all even things that were lost years ago god is god is taking it back now god is taking it back oh jesus and i believe for all of you wonderful intercessors god is going to give you a double portion anointing we are in a double portion year. This is truly is a double portion year. And I believe as part of that, you can be seated. As part of that, God is releasing double portion mantles. How many ready to receive a double portion mantle on your life? Double portion authority. Double portion discernment. Double portion vision. Double portion faith. Double portion joy. Double portion glory. Double portion health. Double portion finances. Just double portion on your life and i believe prophetically one of the scriptures right now is job 42 10 the lord restored the fortunes of job when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice as much as he had before and i want to decree this over you today that if the enemy has ever tried to rob steal or kill in any area of your life i declare double is coming back to you double is coming back to you Double joy, double faith, double provision, double vision, double. Double authority, a double mantling of God upon your life. Oh, hallelujah. God's taking the limits off. God is taking the limits off. Woo. 2 Kings 2.14, he took the mantle of Elijah that had fell from him. You know the story of Elijah went up, the mantle came down. Elisha picked it up. He asked for a double portion. He picked up the mantle that fell from him, struck the waters and said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he had, and when he had struck the waters, they divided this way and that, and Elisha crossed over. God is releasing a double portion mantle right now, but it's important we pick it up. And it's important that we strike the ground, that we strike the water. It's when he struck the water that the waters parted and he was able to cross over. So I believe each one of us here today and those watching by live stream that there is a tailor-made double portion mantle for you that God is calling you now to pick it up in a new fresh way. And God is saying, don't just hold on to it, but strike the waters with it. And when you strike the waters with it, you will cross over into the new season. Oh, come on. Give God a shout. Double. Everyone say double. Double. I believe God wants to give you double increase, double territory. That God, that God has a calling, a mantle, a purpose for you, a good work that he has preordained from before the foundation of the world for you to do, and God wants you to cross over into it. So how many are going to pick up your mantle? How many say, God, I'm not just going to leave it on the side. I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to cross over into it. I believe this morning we have, a, we have a moment right here. We have an opportunity right here. I have the privilege of receiving the offering, the love offering, the anointed love offering that we can sow into this. And I believe, God, there is something that happens, you know, when you align your faith with the word of the Lord and then you act on it, there is something that is set into motion. And I have learned this even in my giving, that when God speaks to me, I can engage my faith with that word and I can step into that word, not just sit and be passive, but actually engage that word and step into that word and even sow into that word as my faith is activated to engage the promises of God. So this morning we have, we have a moment right here where I believe we are on the precipice of national awakening. We are on the precipice of some major demonic strongholds being overturned. Some major demonic strongholds being overturned and the kingdom of righteousness being established. We have in each one of us, not just nationally, but even individually within our callings and assignments from God, we have, an, we have a moment right now where God is poising us and getting us ready to cross over into a double portion of even what each one of us in this room carries of the Lord on our lives. So we can say, God, I align with this word. I align with 
not with what the, the, the bad news is saying, but I align with what God's good news is saying. I align with what heaven is saying, and I actively sow into it. I actively align my heart with it because where my treasure is, my heart is. Right? So when, really, when you sow and you say, God, I'm engaging my faith, you are aligning your heart with a word from God and saying, God, I'm aligning with it. I'm moving with it, and I'm sowing into the harvest and, and I just really believe this. The Lord showed me, it was in the last few weeks, an avalanche. And, and, you know, a lot of times when we think of avalanches, we think of like a negative thing. I don't want to be near that avalanche. But this was a good avalanche. This was an avalanche of God's goodness. This was an avalanche of God's blessing. And I tell you what, an avalanche of God's blessing is about to overshadow your life. Where you are overcome. And, and, it's, and it's this word that it's like where years you have sown faithfully, now is the harvest time. And I believe so many people are going to walk in such a season of abundant harvest where years you have sown, not just financially, but you have sown in your prayers. You have sown in your worship. You've, you have sown in your relationship with God. You have sown in how you've walked with God and what you've done in secret. And you've sown, sown, sown and been so faithful. And God is saying, now the harvest is overtaking you. From the north, south, east, and west, you are going to be surrounded by the harvest of even years of sowing that you have done. So I declare over you today, you will be overcome by the harvest. And it's going to be a good harvest. You're going to have an avalanche of the goodness of God over your life now. Everyone say now. Now, now because when I, when I preach and when I teach and I read the word, I'm not like 20 years from now. Lord, this is now because this is your promise to me now, God. So we receive it now. Oh, hallelujah.